Hello and welcome to another video on Game Master 5. Today I'm going to show you how to create a new campaign. Um, so I have the app open now. You see I have two campaigns already in here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on New Campaign. And it's going to bring me up uh, a number of options. I can copy an existing campaign, um, which is great if you want to you know, modify, say, a set adventure or one shot for different groups. Um, I can also create from scratch, which we'll do in just a moment. I can import a file uh, that came from another Game Master um, 5 installation, whether it be on my phone or uh, maybe a friend created an adventure and they're giving it to you to run, uh, or I can merge multiple. So if I had, say, my two campaigns here uh, and I wanted to merge them together as adventures, it would basically collapse them in as adventures and create a new campaign over that. Um, I'm not going to get into that in a moment, so let's just go into Create. And of course, the first thing we're gonna do is give it a title. So in this case, I'll just say something real original. And then I have to add player characters. Now, player characters um, can come from Fight Club 5 or you can create them uh, manually. Uh, if I wanted to create them manually, I would have to go through uh, the various fields here to create it in a format uh, that Game Master understands. Uh, you can also create them in Fight Club 5, which if you are setting up a group of people and they've done theirs on character sheets, I would strongly recommend um, creating those characters in Fight Club 5 and then bringing them over by exporting them uh, in a Game Master 5 format, which is something that I'll, I'll show you in Fight Club 5 in another video. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to grab some characters that are already existing. I'm going to grab uh, Roland here and we'll grab... Sister Mavis and I'm gonna grab one more and click next now I can create uh, adventures under my campaign encounters I can create NPCs treasure notes these are all things that are at the high level of the campaign so if you're just doing a one-shot or an adventure uh, you might want to do that here if you're planning on doing a real campaign with you know, multiple levels, multiple adventures in that campaign, I recommend leaving this blank. Um, you'll know when you want to use them uh, at the campaign level. Uh, it'll be NPCs that are recurring characters, people that the uh, characters are running into across adventures. Uh, treasure and notes, I mean notes I use extensively in my campaigns, uh, treasure not so much. Um, and for encounters, oftentimes I'll create my random encounters or semi-random encounters. Uh, and pre-populate those so that I have them ready to go. Um, but in this case, I prefer not to create anything at this level, and I'll just hit the checkbox. And I have a new uh, Game Master campaign. So I'm just going to tap on it to open it up. Uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to change my graphic because I didn't do it back here. You'll notice when I go back into the edit screen, it's the same type of... Yeah, we'll just go with that one and... I'll uh, go back. All right, so as I showed in the overview, we have a number of different things that we can control at the campaign level, um, including all the things that I mentioned on the previous screen. Uh, the most common thing that you're going to want to do is maybe add some adventures. Uh, these could be backstory related. Um, so if I said, you know, uh, Erlen's backstory, and I could have a number of adventures created for that. And then I could have encounters, NPCs. So let's just say I'm going to go in and pick Urban. And I want to grab what do I want? I will scrap the thug. I'm going to leave those the same. And I'll just put in a name here. We'll just say it was uh, Erlen's old partner. So maybe I just created a, a recurring foil um, for that particular adventure. I could create encounters here. So if I wanted to say, uh, I can copy them from other, let's do this, let's grab and say the, that's the one I want. We'll grab, say the Goblin Den encounter um, from Lost Mine of Fandelver. Uh, so you can see here it pre-populates the NPC Silver Hallwinter plus all the, the goblins and Yemek. And I just say yes and the 
bring that in here. So now I have that encounter. And then if I wanted to say that there was treasure associated with this, I could go out and I could look in the compendium and we'll just pick say, what do I want to do? I'm gonna go with just uh, rare feather falling, whatever. Don't ask me why. And then I can also create notes. You'll notice that there's a bit of a thunderstorm going on right now, I apologize for that, but uh, what better time to do this. Um, so I can have all kinds of different notes, like um, you know, if I wanted a note basically to describe our starting location or um, something about the character, various different things that I can do here. I can associate pictures with it, or I can say, if this was say, um, let's say, map of, well, I just did this map the other day, so we'll just throw this in here. Keep with the Lost Mine of Fandelver theme. And then I'll go and grab, say, a map, and If you're wondering, I run a Lost Mine of Feldover in the Critical Role, so uh, it's based in Joran Village, so that's kind of, oh, I have to give it a body, even if it's not much. And then that's the minimum that's required to create an adventure. Uh, as you'll see, it throws in a generic uh, image. I can go back and I can change that. Um, and now, I also want you to notice, you notice that that non-player character is blank. But if I go back into the adventure, I have Erlen's old partner there. That's an example of an adventure level NPC versus a campaign MP, uh, level NPC. Uh, the same is true with the encounters and the notes. If I back up, you don't see those encounters or those notes there. Um, so that's all that's required to get started with Game Master 5 and creating a campaign. Obviously, you get what you put in. You can spend hours and hours setting this up. Um, and creating adventures, creating various plot hooks as adventures, putting in your random encounters under the encounters, uh, adding various treasure items or quest items uh, to that top level. Uh, and then you can populate the notes with a million different things, anything you can think of. Um, but as far as the basic app, that's all there is to it. Um, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions or if there's anything you would like to see, please leave a comment. Uh, and thank you for watching. Please hit subscribe. Thank you.